What's going on everybody and welcome back to a little bit of old school RuneScape. Feels good to be back. How you guys doing? Uh, we've got so much to talk about, I know. Trust me, there's been so many things going on in the uh, the world of old school RuneScape since I've been uh, around the block, you could say. Well, I want to talk about one thing in particular today, because uh, it's been, it's resurfaced here recently. I want you to remember back... Let's say, uh, it looks like in the middle of December, December 16th, there was an, uh, a, a RuneScape post Jagex sent out into the ether for world crashes that were happening. Uh, at the end of last week, a small number of game worlds crashed on a few occasions. Not a big deal, it happens, there's Jagex's servers. Upon investigation, we've concluded that these crashes were caused by a small group of players who manipulated game content. So, what does that mean? Before we get too into it, I just kind of want to take a step back and think about what this potentially could mean for Old School RuneScape, because for the unfamiliar, <clears throat> Old School RuneScape specifically is built upon its community and its economy. They're both very two big factors that make Old School RuneScape thrive, because it's uh, an it, and it's just how it's always been. Uh, if w if one thing gets tampered, if one single uh, similarity or factor gets changed in one way or the other, the whole the whole structure of Old School RuneScape is compromised. So when there's when there are these bugs or these glitches or I, I would even go as far as to say hacks, because I don't think anyone's hacking, but you know, these item duplications that have been going on, they are not just benefiting, uh, you know, a single player or players, it's almost single-handedly, you know, ruining the game. So, uh, going back to the news post here, Jagex, obviously, you know, they have to be coy about these things. They can't give us too much information because then, well, the common man could just go and re-implicate this bug or, you know, this exploit. So, obviously, uh, they, uh, they were malicious intent to dupe items and wealth. Who knows how, but after an extensive review, they say the game economy wasn't impacted. Now, remember, this was back in December 16th, so this was about a month ago, almost. Um, action has been taken against the accounts involved. They blocked the method used, apparently, and they're actively investigating further fixes to prevent similar occurrences. So, some of the things they had to change. This was a big deal, because this affected a lot of legitimate players, fun parts of the game, such as level 3 combat fight caves which, by the way, is just insane. Uh, so somehow, I, I never really watched a lot of those guides or, you know, the videos that, like, Wooks and all of them did, but level 3 combat fight caves must only be completable with these, um, the animation stalling, which we'll get into here in a minute. That must have been a big part of the bug. Obviously, something had to involve an animation being stalled or a, a shove special being, uh, you know, somehow manifested to be uh, ruining something somehow, which we'll get into that also. Um, the tight tight rope skip in Chambers of Zarek, which I haven't done too many raids, so I'm not sure what all that entails, but uh, again, more skips. And then again, certain techniques used in Barbarian Assault for the purpose of speedrunning completions. So... What this tells me is that something that was being used here to duplicate the wealth and items and all of that must have not been a part of the game that was always, you know, that Jagex intended to be happening. If it's something that skips parts of Barbarian Assault or skips parts of Chambers of Zeric, obviously it's some sort of, you know, uh, something is being uh, affected here that shouldn't be, that was not part of the code or, you know, not part of Jagex's original plan. So, what did they have to do from here on? Well, it made players so... Because, it, like I said, uh, you know, level 3 fire capes, that was a big deal. That's a big part of the uh, the culture of old school RuneScape now. That's a that's a milestone. That's very significant. Hey, remember the day that the, the guy got the first level 3 fire cape? Well, can't ever do that again. <laughs> Sorry. Get it in the inferno. So they did go back to even even they they were trying to be considerate, saying they're exploring other options for trying to replicate the old behavior. Probably so they couldn't have to. I'm I'm sure getting rid of the level three, you know, the ability to do the fight caves at level three, they probably didn't take that decision lightly. But they are trying their best to see if they can replicate methods again. Although probably no way that they're going to be able to do that. Um, obviously this has an impact uh, on legitimate activities, which is frustrating because you know you always hear uh, one person 
ruins it for everyone in that same, same freaking neckbeards ruining my old school RuneScape. I don't like it. All right, now that we've got the uh, the base understanding, I want to fast track a couple of days here to December 18th. Another news post was made. Jagex shove special attack changes. So they made an unpulled change to the way shove specials attack. I want you to just think about that for a second because not very often does Jagex do unpulled changes. Like I was saying earlier, one of the big foundations of old school RuneScape is the community. It's the fact that Jagex pulls all of these updates for us, the player base, to decide upon. So for them to make one of these decisions without us is compromising the quote-unquote un integrity of the game i'm not saying that's what happened obviously um to you know do what they had to do to get rid of the exploits the cheaters whatever dude make your own pull changes i could care less but i'm just wanting you to realize how big of a deal that actually is so they changed the way that the show special attack for zamorakian spears dragon spears just spears in general but i'm assuming those were the two most commonly being abused so before this change players could be targeted and held in place indefinitely so I remember back in a couple of months ago, I don't remember how long exactly, a friend made a video about being able to stun lock things with the spears and you could like essentially teleport away somehow. I'm, I'm forgetting the details, but I remember a bug not too long ago with this in particular happening where you could just basically stun lock another player by using the dragon spear. I'm not sure, like, like I said, I don't know the details. I was not the, uh, <laughs> the bug abuser, but I'm assuming you would like restore your special somehow, stun lock, restore your special, stun lock, and then they would just never be able to go anywhere. So that going against the spirit of the game. This supposedly has nothing to do with the world crashing and the, the wealth, you know, exploits and the money supposedly however these happened almost at the same time again it was an unpolled change so here's my theory so far something was being duplicated by they were stalling an animation somehow so maybe they were dropping the gold and then i don't know they were shoving someone across the wilderness ditch maybe with a, sh a spear special stun locking them in the where they couldn't move and that somehow messed with the game code and the money duplicated i don't know but i'm assuming it had something to do with the wilderness these spears the special attacks stun locking and obviously and it's some sort of animation being glitched or some sort of something that was causing it all just to be like, oh, there's a second stack of a Tebow's right next to me. And I mean, awesome, I guess. So again, like this may not this may not seem like a big deal at first glance, but again, these unpolled changes affect so this was a bigger deal for PvP. Doesn't bother me. But now when you use your spear shove special attack, there's a three second delay essentially. So you'll stun them but then you cannot do it for another three seconds. You have to wait for the effect to expire. Then you get the player B gains three seconds of immunity. So basically they're, that special cannot stun them for another three seconds and you give it uh, essentially a chance to run away. So you can still cast binding spells like Ice Barrage and deal damage with all of that. You just have the stun timer now, which I don't know. Apparently that's they're, they're hoping that's going to affect not, uh, it's not going to matter the scenario, but... We'll see, I guess, because just, what was this, I think, yesterday, we had one final update to this whole situation. So, fast forward about a month later, January 11th. This happened two days ago now. It's happening again, and this time, they're coming out and saying, hey, there's item duplicates, or, you know, item duplications happening, it's causing the game world to crash because something they're doing is messing with the whole game code now they brought up that they're seeing concerns that the generating wealth is going to cause a game-wide rollback and mind you like i showed you earlier this has been going on for literally almost a month can you imagine a rollback of a month's time the progress we would lose the just everything people would be furious now I, I i don't think jagus would make that decision lightly i don't think they would roll back the whole game willy-nilly i'm a, I, i'm sure they probably will 
If they have to, to save the integrity of the game, to save the economy, I guarantee you they'll roll it back a month. Now, they won't do it lightly, like I said. I bet you they maybe they refund us a month of membership, or maybe they give us something else. I don't know, but be prepared to, uh, you know, I... Uh, it's an excuse, obviously, but it's almost kind of nice that I haven't been playing RuneScape as much recently because if this does happen, I won't lose that much progress. But to wrap up, it does look like they're potentially on the case. Um, it says they're if they're able to confirm and verify reports, they can target the accounts responsible and the wealth and items they have generated. And they have no plans to roll back. Like they say right here, game-wide rollbacks are always a very last resort. But, and they don't expect to use them in this instance but they will, so just be prepared. That's kind of one of the more pressing matters I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's been kind of coming up and leaving uh, just for about the past couple of weeks. I wanted to talk about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I'm sorry I haven't been as active. I know it's been about a week again since I made a video and I apologize. I'm trying to get consistent. Uh, I'm, it's frustrating because I'm so close to being able to be uploading daily again and I keep promising I will be and then something else happens and then I'm garbage. I'm sorry. RuneScape 3 though, I'm having still fun with that. Um, it's different though, for sure. It's different, um, and it's almost kind of jarring to come back to old school RuneScape and look at everything and just see how uh, completely, completely different of a game it is. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening, and thanks for still being here. We're like three subs away from 300, which is awesome. Um, the channel, uh, the the year anniversary of the channel is coming up on the 19th of January. So, again, uh, I haven't uploaded for about a month, so take about a month out of that. That's not bad, uh, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next RuneScape video. Expect maybe other non-RuneScape things coming sometime. I don't know. I'm uh, just kind of winging it. But until next time, boys and girls, I'll see you then. Bye. I don't know why I hid behind the tree. I, I don't know.